Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can get email reminders of when something happens within your SharePoint uh, list. So here is a use case. Uh, I have a list here. Uh, of course, it's a Microsoft list. It's a list of projects in my case. And I want to be notified when users, for example, add a new entry to this list. So maybe uh, modify an entry or even delete an entry. I want to be notified when users once again you know change something or something changes within the list now for those of you who used all the versions of sharepoint you might recall that we always had this alert feature and uh, we still do uh, you can access it by clicking the three dots and click alert me and essentially you can set up an alert you know uh, you can set up the trigger and be notified when something happens uh, within that sharepoint list by the way the alert feature is available on both lists and libraries However, with modern Microsoft lists, we also have an additional feature called uh, rules, all right? Uh, uh, if you click on the automate dropdown and create a rule, um, so this is pretty much a modern way to set up alerts, all right? So if you have a list, you, you, we don't have this capability once again on the library, on the document library, but we do have this capability on the list. So uh, it gives you these different scenarios. For example, when the a new item is created or deleted, this are kind of pretty straightforward. But let me show you, for example, this one, when a column value changes. So I want to get an email when um, a column value changes. So let me click. And essentially, you just fill in the blanks, all right? So uh, you just pretty much choose the column, which column uh, will change, let's say, status. Um, and then you just, you know, when, when, once again, you know, uh, continue filling it out um, when the status is equal to active. All right. Remember, I had active and closed, you know, when uh, it changes to active, send an email. And this is where you can specify who to send the email to. Uh, and it gives you a few choices. You know what? Let's uh, send it to me. All right. You can automatically choose your, um, you know, name. But, you know, obviously it gives you other choices. Essentially, this are. Uh, uh, you know, people pickers, right? Uh, all the columns that are, you know, uh, essentially go against uh, the Active Directory. Uh, in my case, let's send it to me and hit create. And that's it. All right. Essentially, um, like essentially the alert has been set. Looks like I already had an alert set up on this list. Uh, this is where, uh, by the way, all the rules, you know, uh, are managed. All right. So in case if you want to, for example, alter a given rule, you just click drop down. Uh, manage rules, and again, you see all these different, you know, rules that you set up. Uh, let's set up another one. Uh, again, automate, create a rule. In this case, I will choose a column changes. So here, in this case, I cared about the specific value, right? When the status was active. Uh, however, here I care about any change within the column. All right. So in this case, you will choose this option, and um, gives me a whole range of columns again. Status changes, so if it changes, you know, to active or inactive, doesn't really matter. Send an email once again. Send an email to me. Hit create. All right, and that's pretty much it. I mean, essentially, from that point on, you will get an email every time the trigger is met, and um, um, you know, it was nice and easy way to set up uh, an alert. Uh, and you know, just to remind you again, if you need to manage, maybe you know what uh, I need to, you know, turn off, um, you know, specific. Uh, specific uh, alerts maybe for some time you can do so you can turn them off uh, or uh, you can delete you know the rule altogether all right here we go you see i just uh, deleted the rule altogether all right uh, that's pretty much everything i wanted to show you in this video hopefully you learned the new trick as always happy to see you on my blog sharepointmaven.com and thanks for watching goodbye